I figured if I stood up here, maybe that would buy me an extra minute or two. No? Okay. Um, backdrop. 1985. Steve Rudy was just newly appointed as a traffic engineer for the Arapahoe County folks right up the road. One of the things that my commissioners had me do was go in front of the Transportation Commission and beg, I, I mean, and provide them with Arapahoe County's top 10 list of projects that they would like the Transportation Commission to fund. It was a relatively small list, included things like completion of Santa Fe, building the I-225 Parker Road flyover, widening I-25, and one of the projects on it was widening I-225. It was one of the projects in the 6 to 10. So that was 1985. 26 years later, I think Reza finally has the money to deliver that. I'm going to talk to you today about, quote unquote, traditional funds. If you're willing to wait 26 years, you might take the route that Arapahoe County did in 1985 and ask people to fund these projects with traditional funds. I'd also like to recognize several, I've seen several former Dr. Cog board chairs, including Melanie. I've seen some current Dr. Cog board members and alternates, Councillor Malay included. Dr. Cog, what is it? Well, it's a, a collaborative association of more than 50 folks running from basically Longmont and Mead on the north, the Doug, bottom part of Douglas County, uh, Douglas Hill Paso County line from the Eisenhower Tunnel to the eastern reaches of Arapahoe and Adams County. Um, Dr. Cog is viewed as a place where local officials can work together to solve the region's transportation. Or... Thank you. So we're down to two. Our next speaker is Randy Harrison. Mr. Harrison manages R.W. Harrison & Associates, a professional service, business, and project development company. For the past five years, he served as executive director of MOVE Colorado, a nonprofit corporation.